Hi guys, Mike Greer here, and today I'd like to share with you an amazing little app that is currently available on Android and probably someday soon on iOS. At least that's what the rumor mill is saying. And it's something called ClaraSketch, and it's a really powerful tool that will help you teach, help you share information, help you give people feedback, help you provide clear instructions to anybody with whom you can share an internet URL. So basically what we're talking about here, this is from the clarasketch.com homepage. You take a picture or you pull up a picture on your device. You use some little drawing tools and stuff to highlight the details while you're commenting with a microphone here, talking, and then it is saved to the Clarasketch cloud and you can share that link to your little uh, presentation. So this is the Google Play listing for ClaraSketch as seen through the Chrome browser. Looks a little bit different when you're accessing it through your device. But uh, let's take a look at ClaraSketch and see what it does. Very cool. I'm actually going to demonstrate this by playing some ClaraSketch videos that I've have been saved to the cloud on my behalf. I made these little video demos and then was given this URL. Notice it's clearsketch.com. When I click share at the end of the video, uh, they give you the, they upload it to the cloud and then we'll send it. You can send the URL as an email or whatever. So check this first one out. This is the main opening screen from the ClaraSketch app that uh, I took a screenshot of my Samsung tablet and that's what you're looking at there. Um, you can do three things. You can bring in a picture and annotate it. You can shoot a photo, a new one, using your device's camera and annotate that. Or you can bring in, uh, just start writing on a fresh whiteboard. So we're going to look at a couple of examples that illustrate how you could use these things. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the next little video I produced and play that. And that will tell you some more about this is a quick screenshot that shows Clarisketch. all of the uh, ClaraSketch controls. Uh, in the upper right, you have the video counter, and that's your uh, microphone recorder as well. It records how how far you are into a video. And of course, you've got the toolbar up here that allows you to make the various selections of pens and so forth. Little prompts come up throughout uh, until you are used to using the product, then you can turn off the prompts. But uh, basically, they just help you get through it real easy. And I'll show you how I actually use ClaraSketch uh, with this drawing later. Okay, now let's say I was going to be talking to a, a contractor that I wanted to do a little bit of fix-up on the outside of my house. I take this snapshot and... Okay, now this is the front window of the house. And what we're trying to do here is repair this and this. And all along up here, we got to repair that stucco. And then we're going to put an awning in place where the former awning left the stucco damaged. So what I need from you is a bid. The window is 10 feet wide, and uh, you kind of get the idea what we're looking at. We're looking for an awning that would cover halfway down that window. Thanks. Okay, so now I've got a contractor that knows what I need. In this, I'm explaining to let's say a classroom of kids who are studying some western plants. And now in this California backyard, we see a number of unusual plants. This cluster here is actually from a vine called a bougainvillea. And the bougainvillea has three kinds of colors displayed on it. It has the leaves, of course, which are green. It has what we call bracts, B-R-A-C-T-S, which come in colors. These are what we just circled here, these bracts. They can be in purple, they can be in orange, they can be in many different colors. But when you really look closely, you'll see there's tiny flowers. These are the flowers that attract the hummingbirds and so forth. So the bougainvillea are really beautiful because the bracts stay colorful all the time. Now here is a blue agave cactus, very sharp thorns. This is an amaryllis, amaryllis flower. And this is a Carolina vine. And way up here at the top is large plants that go clear out of the picture 20, 30 feet tall. And these are the giant birds of paradise. 
Finally, down here we have some ferns of different types. This fern is an asparagus fern. Here is some rosemary. And right back here in the background there, you see that particular plant is a sega palm. So quite a lot of amazing and beautiful different shaped plants growing in this California backyard. Okay, so another thing we could do would be to provide schedule feedback to a project team. So here's an example where a team's put a schedule together and I've decided that I want them to... Uh... Okay, Sally, I mean, I appreciate the schedule. It's a nice, tight, and your documentation to support it, it's a nice, tight plan. I just have a real problem with this much time here. This is a heck of a gap between the IT blueprints and the IT blueprint review. We're giving those reviewers a little bit more time than they need. Let's just give them one day, okay? Thanks. Okay. Now I got another team member I'd like to send some information, and so I send them this. Okay, listen, uh, Tim, I really want you to make an adjustment to this responsibility accountability matrix. I'm not seeing how we can let the counseling team get out of the fitness plan. So let's put them in there, just I'm calling them accountable for creating the fitness plan. And as far as the uh, creating of the media plan and the deliverable specs, I want to see the technology team part of that as well. So put them in there as accountable too. Okay, thanks. Okay, so two different types of feedback provided to my team. Pretty much anything I can do a screenshot of. You call a document up on your device, snap a screenshot, do a little narration, tell people what you need, pull a picture up that you've taken, do a little narration. And in this case, give somebody good, clear instructions, whether they're a learner or whether they're somebody that's working with you. Finally, let's talk about the ClaraSketch whiteboard. ClaraSketch also provides just a blank board whiteboard sort of that you can play with here. So I'm doing freehand sketching as you can see. And I could give somebody specifications for something with my narrated instructions. I could say, look, I want the bottom to be three feet and the side five feet. I could do a math problem here and show my students how it's done. I could you change paint brush colors or stylus colors and you can just do all kinds of wonderful things there. Um, I'm going to pause for 10 seconds. Now, you didn't hear that pause because ClaraSketch is voice activated. And when you stop talking, it stops recording. So that way, uh, you can pause and gather your thoughts as much as you want and do whatever you need to do. Got an eraser function, so you can uh, go in there and erase if you want to. And uh, just do whatever your heart desires that you would do on a blackboard or a chalkboard with ClaraSketch. Very cool. Highly recommended for people who need to teach, who need to share information, who need to give feedback, or if you just want to send mom and dad an annotated picture of that beautiful uh, new landscaping project you've been working on. ClaraSketch is available at Google Play and possibly coming soon to the Apple iTunes store. Enjoy.